the accountant attached at the Kera Kajiado office is under the ESCC radar for alleged conflict of interest, embezzlement of public funds and unexplained wealth. In the probe, the anti-craft watchdog has seized her 13 title deeds with an estimated value of over 100 million shillings. The properties are scattered in various towns including Kiambu, Nyandarwa, Naivasha, Makweni and Kajiado. ESCC earlier this week obtained orders from High Court in Machakos, freezing Wanjiru's bank account pending the finalization of investigation. This is because between January 2016 and May 2022, Wanjiru transacted a total credit of 26,359,921 Kenyan shillings and a salary account at Equity Bank, Ridgeways Branch in Kiambu, despite earning a monthly net salary of 116,640 shillings. ESCC believes that the bank account is being used as a conduit for depositing and transferring proceeds of corruption at the Kenya Rural Roads Authority. Wanjiru will also be required to explain how several private companies registered through proxies and relatives had dealings with Kera. They include Rokai's Enterprise Limited, registered by her partner Robert Masharia Kimodo, which allegedly received over 5 million from Kera, and Reswan Enterprise Limited, registered under James Shege Njoroge, brother to Esther Wanjiru Shege, which allegedly received about 20 million Kenyan shillings from Kera. Apart from the two other companies operated by Esther Wanjiru Shege as a signatory to bank accounts of said companies that have traded with her employer and received payments from Kera include Kayatek Enterprise Limited, Reswan Holdings Limited and Resro Holdings Limited. Together with her partner Robert Masharia Kimodo, they are said to operate a school bank account under the name St. Sharon Secondary School where money is sent from their company accounts to and before it's transferred to their personal accounts and M-Pesa. If the suspected culpability is confirmed, ESCC will seek criminal prosecution of the sus in addition to voice feature of any corruptly acquired assets to the state. Reporting for Ibru TV, I'm Beryl Shienzi.